Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, CMG on the daily weekly time frame. So we've got PCLN bulls with a clear break. We had a couple bull signals today. The first one was the break of the inside bar on the daily by getting over 1870. The second one was breaking 1876 hour double top. And then we saw a big follow through. Even if you waited for the 1876 break, we then saw a $19 move up, a nice solid percent gain, and we closed pretty strong. So the bulls now were looking at 1895, 1900, and 1920 as resistance before this gap fill. So the upper Bollinger Band is still a level to be watching each day, but we have now correlated the last four days with the market strong enough to recover from a very bearish situation, which is why I never like making bearish entries against a bull market or bullish entries against a bear market. I always want to be going with the market, even if it's a nice bear setup like it was on the weekly. If the market's ripping to all-time highs day after day after day, we don't want to be in bearish positions. So the middle Bollinger Band is trying to become support after multiple rejections, where we closed to that level relative relative to that level on Friday at 1882 will be important as to whether or not we finally get over that level. NVDA, nice follow through for the bulls, higher low, and didn't get a, quite a higher high, 181.98 and 181.77 resistances here. If the bulls can get over 181.98 tomorrow, we'll be looking for a bull MAC decross and 182.70 is the next resistance after that before a gap fill at 184.21. So the weekly time frame holding above the exponential supports, keeping those bulls in full control. No sign of anything bearish as long as we hold 177, the low since we had the gap up open. Tesla on the daily, nice follow through. We saw that significant bull momentum yesterday in the close at the high of the day. Follow through today, we did reject from the middle Bollinger Band at 357.62, but we have momentum and bull volume and we're watching to see if we can break that level tomorrow. The next resistance is all the way up. It's 369.90. So there's a lot of upside potential if we do see continuation over 358.62. But we have to break that level pretty, pretty early in the morning to not see profit taking after a significant two-day move. Bullish reversal candlestick on the weekly. Trying to close strong above the middle Bollinger Band with two trading days left to go. We'll see how that goes. Could see some consolidation after this two-day bull move, so that would keep this middle Bollinger Band right around 349 still in play. Netflix on the daily, upgrade and bull break. As soon as we broke over 183.34, that's a bull signal because the next resistance after that was 186.55, and we made it up through that resistance, and very significant day for the bulls. And what stands out is the cup and handle pattern on the weekly. We have our resistance, the cup of consolidation, our lower high, and here's our handle of bullish consolidation. If we see a break of 190, we're going to be looking for a breakout, new all-time highs, and confirmation of this cup and handle pattern. CMG on the daily time frame, nice follow through from a bull break of the inside bar. So our higher low has been established at the low of Monday. That was 298.20, and we'd have the middle Bollinger Band resistance of 310.08, rejecting the price. So I'm watching the weekly time frame, the, the closest on CMG, where we have our low, we're rejecting from exponential resistance, our double bottom by a dollar, another rejection from exponential, now trying for a higher low. And you can just see the lower wicks where the bulls are defending the 290s, but the exponential resistances are still rejecting the price. So the bulls have to get over exponential resistance for an oversold weekly bounce to play out. And we saw the same thing on the daily time frame, patiently waiting week after week after month, for the daily chart to see the exponential moving averages become support. Now we're doing the same thing on the weekly and being very patient. When the bounce does begin to play out, we can look for a significant bounce, you know, 5, 10%. But if we don't get over exponential resistance, bulls are not going anywhere. So we'll check back in tomorrow. Can't wait to see you then.